okay hello everyone welcome again today's episode on that is on the divergence of a vector field as we have already completed the episodes on the gradient of a scalar field and coordinate system and matrix conversion coefficient i highly recommend you to go and watch those videos to totally get to this episode so here we go uh, the in physical significance divergence of any vector field at a point is the net outward flux per unit volume as the volume above the point tends to zero now after a hugely cumbersome mathematical analysis we get an equation of divergence say now wait i know most of you are quite scared of long mathematical analysis they very often give you nightmares so i'm gonna skip the skip this in this tutorial look the key even misspelled the word mathematics and those looking for mathematical analysis just go to the link in the discussion section and download the pdf Okay, now after the hugely, hugely cumbersome mathematical analysis, we get the divergence of a vector field, and here is the vector A becomes nabla dot A. So, divergence is that dot product of nabla and the uh, vector that that represents the vector field. So, that's important that the divergence of any vector field is 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 a scalar quantity. Previously, the gradient of any scalar quantity was a vector, but this time the, uh, we take or divergence takes a vector quantity and delivers a scalar quantity now in terms of matrix conversion coefficient uh, the divergence of a vector field or nabla dot a becomes this here h1 h2 and h3 are the matrix conversion coefficient and u1 u2 and u3 are the uh, space coordinates of the respective uh, coordinate system so in the previous episode we saw, we saw that in cylindrical coordinate system as u1 is r h1 will be 1 u2 is theta so it will be r and u3 is z so h3 will be 1 and, it's, and in a spherical coordinate system u1 is capital r u2 is theta and u2 is theta and u3 is phi therefore h1 will be 1 h2 will be r and h3 will be r sine theta so now it's time for some examples and those who are having trouble to understand they should go back and watch the previous two episode now here is spherical coordinate system a vector a can be a position vector actually it can be written as r multiplied by the unit vector along r that is our cap and we can easily write this because anything multiplied by zero will do nothing to the expression now from the given formula of the, of the divergence of a uh, the expression will become just like this here h1 h2 and h3 are the three matrix conversion coefficient and if we multiply them together it will become our square sine theta and we all know in partial differentiation all the variables except for the variable with respect to which the differentiation process is performed are treated to be constant therefore finally our answer will be 3 that's 1 by r square into 3 r square that is 3 that's the square quantity so it's very very important the divergence of any vector field is a scalar quantity now in cylindrical coordinate system a vector can be written uh, with the help of the three space coordinates and here they are r phi and z just like this so once again using the formula of divergence a here the multiplication of h1 h2 and h3 will be r because in cylindrical coordinate system h1 and h3 is 1 only h2 is r therefore the multiplication of these three will be r and we can easily simplify this line with our knowledge of partial differentiation so I am writing the simplified final expression in white ink here. So uh, this will be it. So that's all for today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, encourage me by giving me a thumbs up and post your any kind of comment, whatever positive or negative in the comment section. I'll be back shortly with more tutorials on engineering studies. Till then. Have fun.
and don't forget to subscribe to make sure you are not missing any of the upcoming episodes.